We are at Leaders 1354, downtown Chicago, 672 North Wales. The name Leaders really came from us drawing inspiration from like all our great leaders. And what better would you want to aspire to be than a leader? You know, like our motto, Lead Never Follow, is we want to set the trends, you can follow them. You know what I'm saying? We really have built ourselves on the model of innovating and creating instead of, you know, developing and following, you know, because that's what everybody else kind of does is just sees what hot and then try to do that. We, you know, stay in our own world and do our own thing, you know, try to come up with the best different product we can that truly represents our brand and our consumer. Yes, um, basically you have, you know, a very small design team, considering myself, Allen in Taiwan. Um, you know, it's simple, you know, we do all our hats, t-shirt designs, sweatshirts, everything. You know, right here, even when we do uh, footwear concepts, you know, we all just do it in-house. Well, it's kind of different here because here a lot of stores that went to the raffle system and uh, RSVP system, so it's not as much mass hysteria as far as lineups and stuff like that goes, but it's still here, you know, in Chicago. Yeah. So at the end of the day, we're a Jordan city. So people still go, you know, crazy over, you know, the Jordan, so you know, they'll find a way to line up or be the first one to try to get it, and, you know, so it's it's kind of crazy. But here, the, I say the sneaker culture has really died down a little bit, but it, I see it's back on the rise. People really starting to care about other shoes outside of Jordans again, which is good. Well, like the foams have their niche, but uh, it's really with a lot of running, like, you know, the Air Max, Air Max One, Roshis, um, the Lunar Line. Fly nets, lunars are amazing. People love them. They're super comfortable. So that's what I see where people are really wanting, where comfort and fashion meet. Mm -hmm. So with a lot of the new styles, that's really what you know people want. They want something that they can wear all day. You know, then New Balance is coming on strong with, they just have a good heritage of running. So it's just like all their old styles, 998, 999, 1300, uh, 576, 580, all those styles are just important again because people want something that looks cool but also is very comfortable. You know, people, you know, got off of it, I'm gonna wear a shoe because it's uncomfortable. People think about their feet now. No, because Jordan might be the reason there's a sneaker culture. You know what I'm saying? So how are you really going to surpass what kind of created the hysteria? You know what I'm saying? The difference is, is after a while, it's going. what else are they going to be able to do? That's what we're running into is like they're doing so much that there's nothing really to do. And anything new they really come out with really doesn't stick. I really, really like the 28s. Like, you know, I play basketball once or twice a week and that's what I play in. Mm -hmm. I love the 28s, but I don't know if they're going to stick like as a culturally relevant, like iconic shoe. Maybe he saved up a little money and found a connect. He actually made up this whole story about he how he had a friend who had a store who had a connect. Mm -hmm. And I go upstairs and I'm like, hey, where am I at? And I look and I'm looking on the shelves and I don't see him. But I have so many sneakers. I'm thinking, oh, I must have put them somewhere else. Why do I feel rappers sneakers come and go? I think because their fans are the consumer. You know, when your fans are the consumer, when your record is hot, they're gonna buy it. When your record is not hot, they're not gonna buy it. 